Hey guys, welcome back to me and Family Fun. Today we are going to be doing day uh, 13 of Project Rolls. Oh, I forgot to get our daily animal of the day. Oh, yeah. Um, day 12 or 13, I don't know. But daily animal. That's daily animal, so you can go read about that in, in the read aloud. Sorry guys to keep you waiting. I had to get our daily animal of the day. Alright, let's see how long our read aloud is today. Yeah, that's a long chapter. Okay, we're doing our animal of the day first. Okay, today's daily animal is a raccoon. I think this one picture is so cute. Recognized by its striped face and ring tail, the raccoon has evaded almost every habit of its calmly found even in towns and cities. My mayhem and family fun fans, we are going on a The raccoon is curious, clever, and so solitary, and deeply cuddly looking. It owns success of its population due to its ability to live in a wide variety of habits and survive on an extremely flexible diet. Hmm. Excuse me for one second. Had to close my door real quick. Okay. Mm -hmm. Did you know the raccoon's Latin name is Lauder? Means who washes? Did you know the raccoon has very nibble fingers that can twist handles and open doors? Smart. And did you know raccoon meat is good to eat and tastes like lamb? I've never had lamb. Don't like. I don't like eating meat. I mean, I like steak. It's just I don't like deer meat. I don't like like. I don't like meat that comes from animals, basically. Like raccoon meat or a random animal that I don't know. When the film about Davy Crockett was. Released in 1955, the title character wore a hat made from raccoon skin and tail, which started a fashion trend. Yeah, I can eat chicken and steak and stuff. It's just I don't like deer meat uh, or like any animal meat. Get what I'm saying? Kind of, it, it kind of confusing. Okay, Distribian. The United States, except for areas of the Rocky Mountains and... Vanna, Ruven, and also the southern edge of Canada. Okay, so if you live up here, you're going to get a lot of raccoons. If you want to look up some information about the raccoon, you can look it up on Google or the, the place you go. Or maybe if you live up there, you can study. All right, let's get to our Diver Wimpy Kid. I'm very... Very excited to see what it has planned for us. So last, last chapter, Craig told him, told on Greg, and got a lot. Okay, today's Saturday in their world. Willie's birthday party is tomorrow. So mom took me to go to the mall to give him a gift. I picked him out this cool video game that just came out and I handed it to mom so she could pay for it. But mom said I had to buy it with my own money. I told mom that first of all, I have zero money. And second of all, I did have I if I did have money, I wouldn't be wasting it on Rolly. Mom didn't seem too happy what I said, but it's not my fault I'm broke. I actually had a job this summer, but the people I worked for stiffed me, so I had I haven't heard a single penny. We had we have these neighbors named Fullers who live a few doors up. They go on vacation every summer. And usually with their dog Princess and then Neil. But this year, they told me they paid five bucks for me to feed Princess and take her out. I figured I earned enough money to buy a whole pile of video games with that kind of money. Five dollars? I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Animal Crossing was sixty dollars. Did you believe that? 
expensive, but let's get on. But I guess Princess is a shy, a gun shy about going to the bathroom in front of strangers. So I ended up spending a whole time standing outside in the hot sun waiting for this dumb dog to hurry up and go. Come on! So you see, they're at the, at the store, seeing if they could buy anything. And I keep forgetting to show you pictures. All right, there's the dog. She's nervous. So far, it looks like the dog is in the carpet, or is that like, is that its head? I don't know. Wait a minute. Oh, I see it. I just have to wait and wait. Nothing would happen. So I just took Princess back inside. But every time I leave, Princess would make a big mess in the foyer and I have to clean it up. The next day, towards the end of summer, I got smart and realized it would be a whole lot easier to just clean up all of Princess messes at once instead of doing it every single day. So I fed her and let her do her business on the foyer for about two weeks. Then, the day before fours were due back, I ended up to the hill with some wide cleaning supplies. But guess what? The fours cut their trip short and got home a day early. I guess they didn't know it's polite to call ahead and let people know what when your plans are changed. So you see he's getting all of his cleaning supplies. I just wish this book would focus. And look at all this mess. Tonight, Mom called a house meeting with me and Roderick, and she said the two of us are always complaining that we don't have any money. So, she came up with a way to earn some cash. Then she pulled out some play money she must have dug up on a board game. She called the money Mom Bucks. Mom said we can earn Mom Bucks by doing chores and good deeds and stuff like that, and you trade them in for real money. Mom handed us a thousand each to get us started. I thought I had a struck it rich, but then she explained that each mom buck was only worth a penny of real money. Mom told us how we could save our mom bucks, and if we were patient, we could buy something we really wanted. So she's handing them mom bucks. Which I think is a pretty smart idea. And Rara cashed in his whole stash before mom was even done talking. And then she went down to the convenience store and blew up his money with his heavy metal magazines. If mom wanted to waste his money like that, he can go right ahead. But I'm going to be smart with my mom bucks. So you see, he already cashed it out and went to the store. Tomorrow is Sunday in his world. That was a pretty long chapter. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Goodbye. Eight minutes long. Wow. Goodbye. <laughs>